We're going to go ahead and review AOMEI Technologies Partition Assistant Standard Edition. Now this program is very powerful if you're looking to make partitions on your hard drive or copy over your hard drive to another one, making a direct copy and many, many other useful tools I'm going to show you here in a bit. Now this is the website here. This is their website here where you can download it. I will post a link on the description of the video for this web page so you can download it. Now the standard edition that we're looking at, this one is free. All you got to do is click on the download on the green download button here. It'll take you to this page and here you can go ahead and um, compare what the free one has compared to the, uh, the upgrade, the professional and the server edition. But let's go ahead and review the freeware one. I'm going to click on the download freeware and then you click one more time here. It's going to take you to CNET here and you got to click one more time where it says download and it will download the uh, program. Once you download and install it, this is what it looks like here. It's a very easy to use program. I like the way they laid it out. I like, I love the shortcuts they have here on the left, left hand side. They have wizards and they have disk operations. But on the very top, you can, uh, let's, let's start from the top here. So in the top tabs up here on system, you can reload disk or you can hit F5 to reload. And you can also reload here. Let's say you just happen to plug in an external drive. You can just hit the reload button here and it'll reload and pick it up. Under the disk, you can uh, copy disk, wipe a hard disk, hard drive. Uh, you can do a surface test, which is really, really cool. I'll show you guys this here in a bit. You can rebuild the MBR on the hard drive. You can delete partitions or delete all partitions, convert MPR GPT, and you can look at the properties of the current disk you have selected. Also, there is a uh, once you select a disk, you should be able to um, go to partition up here. You can resize the partition, split, copy, create. You can delete, format, change the label, wipe partition. They have so many, so many tools. And most of these uh, tools are listed here on the site already. And you can change the language here where it says settings, or you can go to help. And let's see what, if you go to about, you'll see what version you have. 5.6.3 is the one we're reviewing right now. And also they have tutorials you can click you can click on this tutorial button it'll take you to their website and from here you can look at all the tutorials here like change partition size copy disk and partition because this program can be confusing if you're a beginner and um, you don't know what partitioning is or you don't know what an MBR is and all that you can go to the tutorials there's an upgrade button also you can send them feedback and they also have a free backup software which I will make I will make a review on this uh, AOMEI backup backupper standard so uh, at the end of the video there will be a link you guys, you guys can check this out also all right guys so let's look at the wizards here you can extend a partition they have that wizard and um, extend the current system partition on which the windows is installed and then you select the partition and then you click next and you go from there and right now it's loading and it found it can extend NTS partition without losing data and restart computer and you just click next and you can uh, extend it that way I'm not gonna go ahead and do it because I mean I'm filming right now and it could really mess up the um, the screen capture and I am not doing right, that right now to my hard drive just showing you guys they have the disk copy wizard you can do it quickly or sector by sector um, anything that's quickly I really don't uh, recommend I reckon I'm pretty sure it works good but sector by sector seems like the uh, best choice. Even though it takes longer, uh, it'll make sure to do it right. But I'm, I'm pretty sure their quick version does it pretty quick also and does a good job also. But uh, I always like to do sector by sector. It's just my choice. But anyway, first you select source disk. That's what it's asking from right now. Now this 500 gig hard drive um, is my main hard drive that I'm using. The 1.8 terabyte that you're seeing, that's for storage. I make lots and lots of videos on YouTube. So this is where they're stored before I upload them. So this is my main disk, my main operating system disk, and this is my storage disk. So we're gonna, if I wanted to copy over this disk to my storage disk, uh, while you choose the source, I'm gonna choose that one. Then you click next and then you choose your destination and then click next. Now it's telling me it's gonna delete everything. I don't want that um, from here. So I, sorry guys, I can't, go further than this on the on how to do this. I'm just going to hit no here. 
but that's that's easy guys you select the source select destination click next and it'll start copying it over but I can't erase my data on this hard drive because that's where I have all of my YouTube videos and this YouTube video <laughs> all right so that's the disk copy they have a partition copy wizard also where you can copy partitions over same thing it's got the same uh, setup here you can do a quick or you can do sector by sector you select sector by sector and here's the partitions you select which ones you want you click next and it'll copy them over same way all right guys and then let's take a look at migrate OS to SSD if you have a solid SSD stands for solid state drive it's the new drives that don't spin it's just like a giant flash drive in a way and uh, this will help you migrate your current OS to a solid state drive click next to continue so it's got that option to do that I like this program it's got everything in one and it's free the uh, standard edition is free all right and partition recovery wizard if you want to if you want to recover a partition you can use this uh, most of the time you would grab your friend let's say your friend's hard drive the part or your hard drive the partition is uh, not working I mean it, it's corrupt you take the hard drive out put it on another computer you load this program you select that hard drive you click next and uh, you choose fast or full search you click next and it'll start to search and recover your partition it'll try to recover and try to fix it all right what's really cool about this program it has NTFS to fat32 fat32 is a is an old file system that used to be like on Windows 98 I think Windows 2000 might have had it too but uh, you can convert NTFS to FAT32 or FAT32 to NTFS. You can do that also. So it's got a converting wizard tool also there. That's awesome. You can make a bootable media and it'll make it as a Windows 8 operating system on your USB drive and you can just boot off of it. And you can create a simple one. Let's give you the options here. Create a simple one or you can create a, one that has a desktop and start menu. Another thing, similar thing is they have a Windows to go tool where you can actually put Windows 8 on a USB drive and take it with you anywhere you want and you'll have it you know anywhere you want which is awesome. That's really really ha um, really really helpful guys and I gotta give credit to uh, AOMEI for adding this feature because it makes life so much easier. So all you gotta do is uh, put, plug in a USB drive make sure it's uh, empty and you just uh, hit proceed and it'll do it now you do need to select the Windows 8 installation file here so you have to have the ISO and I'm pretty sure you can download it from the Microsoft website you should be able to download Windows 8 they give it to you you download it as an ISO file and then you just point to it when you click browse and it'll install it on your flash drive pretty cool guys really cool and here's this this copy it's the same thing um, it's a little I mean they're trying to add shortcuts here so disk copy is the same thing as a disk copy wizard they have a delete all partitions so um, tool here wipe hard drive we already saw those up here on the disk when you click on the disk tab up here it's the same tools as we have here in disk operations now if you select a hard drive um, you can click on properties and see what it is for example this one's a 596 gig disk 2 is a uh, 1.88 terabyte now one thing I really like about this program is the disk surface test you can do a quick check or you can do a full check but I already, I've already done a quick check on this hard drive here but when you click start it'll start searching as so right there and there it goes it's still going now normal is green so so far everything is normal if it's red it means it's damaged and you might want to uh, if you get a red um, dot in here I recommend you save all your files back up everything and get a new hard drive but thankfully everything's green I love this disk surface test I was looking for something like this I'm so glad I found this uh, program now I can check my hard drives and make sure they're good but there we are everything's normal all my YouTube videos that I have saved are good that's good all right so that's everything guys now this is this is the uh, standard edition if you want more features you can click on the upgrade button and it'll show you what uh, AOMEIPA partition 
um, assistant professional covers. They can allocate free space, one partition to another, migrate OS from MBR to GPT disk to solid state drive, which is something that uh, the one, the standard edition can't do. Migrate system between drive between MBR and GF. GPT disks, convert system or data disk between MPR and many, many more things, convert dynamic disk to basic disk, convert partition between primary and logical, change partition type ID, change serial number. <laughs> That's a very powerful uh, tool right there, changing the serial number on it. And it looks like it costs $44.1, $44 to upgrade it. But the standard edition looks like it can do pretty much everything. It's just if you're uh, professional and want to change serial numbers and stuff like that that's when you go ahead and upgrade guys thanks for watching don't forget to, to subscribe like the video and stay tuned for many many more videos